Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to work with the custom fields in Microsoft Word. For example, you are working in a contract for your company, and in that contract, you have to enter some the specific wording or sentence. Assuming that contract is very long, and you have to enter the specific wording in so many places, in this upgoing, you have to enter the wording one by one on each page. So, in this video today, I will guide you how to use the custom field to define the values for the specific wording in only one plate. And then you can insert the value as custom field anywhere in the contract. Okay, so now let's get started. Open Microsoft Word on your PC, and the current version I'm using is 2019 Professional Plus version. You can go to Find Account, and you can see the product information for my office. Yeah. Back to the main content of this contract. Assuming this is my contract, I have to working on, and in this contract, I have to enter the wording for my customer. Before we insert the value of the customer at the custom field here, we have to define the custom field first. Click on Find, Inform. And on the right hand side, we have a property. Click on the Aurora button and select the Advanced Properties. It will open up a dialog. And on this dialog, Content, File Tab, General Summary, Statistic, Content, and Custom. You go ahead to open the Custom tab here. In the Custom tab, it already defines some of the default custom fields. And you can find the information here. If you didn't see any custom field suitable for your purpose, so you can go ahead to define a new one. In this video, because for now I'm going to enter the information for my client. So I check in the default list here. It already defines the client. I will select this one. And then I have to provide the value for this custom field e client. And by default for each field, we have some type. Type, date, number, yes or no. I will select the is the default ties for this client. And then in the value, I will enter the values for this custom field. For example, I will have the chain VS company yeah, or something like this. And then you click on the add button. It will add the client properties into this word. You can also able to define other one. For example, I will define my welcome. Yeah. And then the value welcome to my company or something like this. Click on add button. It will also add the my welcome property into this Microsoft Word. So now, assuming I already complete define the custom fields for this contract. I will click on OK button to perform the action. Back to the main content of the contract. So for example, I will have the client name here. I will click on the insert and go to the text section here. And we have a quick pass. Click on the drop down and then select the fields. It will open the dialog for the fields. By default, it will have the some category. We have a lot of things built in for the Microsoft Office. And then I will select the category, click on the drop down button, and I will select the document information. There are some of the few names. I will select the doc property. In the doc property, you see here, 
we have a property e client yeah. and scroll it down i want to find the my welcome yeah this one i will select the client first okay and here you see we have the client information has been added into this i can copy this one and to be placed as a information on as a basis okay and also i want to add some the welcome here do the same thing you go to the inserts and go to the text section click on quick path drop down here and select the field go to the document information and the property scroll it down and you see that we have my welcome property okay welcome to my company i will copy it the same and paste it below okay and so for now assuming i have just finished prepare some the uh, content for my custom field and then i also finish to insert the custom field into my contract yeah so in case in the future i have i want to change my client name so here i will go ahead to click on file go to info properties advanced mode and find the client yeah click on the client property and then you can go ahead to edit the values for the client property there can update the modify okay back to this one and here you can click on the custom view here and right click on this and click on update fields. Yeah, it will update the new values for this one. Update, update. Yeah, so in this of going to every page to edit the content manually. So for now, you just go ahead to go to the custom field value and then edit the values for the field go to the detail of the contract and then you just go ahead to right click on the field and click on update fields the new value will be updated okay you can do the same thing with other fields in the microsoft word okay so i hope this video will have food for you let me know if you see any issue bye bye See you guys in the next video.